All right, in this tutorial, uh, I'm going to show you how you can model uh, Unix new concert hall. Uh, this is actually a project, uh, a proposal for a competition made by uh, 3XN Architects. And uh, this is their website. I'm just showing you the project. And uh, I thought it would be interesting to, to kind of get a glimpse of how you can uh, actually create these shapes and uh, what's the fastest way to 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 use uh, Rhino to create this. So uh, we're not going to model everything. I'm just gonna show you just like a simple uh, box here, like the first one, but the principle is the same. So if you wish, you can model the whole thing uh, with the same principle. Okay, so first we're going to create a simple box that's 20 by 20. Now let's close it and let's extrude it also by 20. And now we have this simple box. Uh, now the next thing would be to go to the side view. And now we're just going to uh, let's hit project button. So it, we draw in the same plane always. And let's use this option here and well, let's kind of get a shape that is similar to, to this one that we have so we're going to create this one side and then the other side here as well and then connect them later on so let's go with with this Okay, we don't need this guy and this guy, this guy. So something on this, I'm gonna move it slightly here. Okay, so something like this, but we're going to extend it like so. Okay, now once we have this, this will be the first curve to go here and then we need one more that we will draw here so let's go here and let's do the same thing here again okay so something like this I'm gonna create rectangle and offset it so that I know how much I need space here okay so three something like this okay so I'm gonna move it until this reference geometry okay so let's scale it down and let's scale this guy down as well Okay, so once we have these guys, we're gonna rotate them a little bit, like so. As you can see, it has slight curvature on, this, on the side, so we want to have the same effect. That's why I'm rotating it. All right. So it will be on this side, so let's mirror it. Okay, and now we can mirror this as well. And this guy. And now we can connect them here and here. Okay, so we have this base surface right now. Uh, let's first uh, modify it now. Let's do explode and as you can see, since I've, I uh, connected it here, it has two segments, so we want this to be one segment. So let's join it here and let's go with control points and delete these here. And we do the same here as well. Because you don't, you don't want to have a more, uh, more of these than you, than you actually need. Because the geometry later on can be um, uh, changed. So... Uh, you want to have as few of these control points as possible every time you create 
uh, anything from scratch so if it's not changing too much uh, your overall design you should have the smallest amount of control points uh, now let's uh, let's duplicate this edge and let's isolate these two so what I'm going to do now I'm going to divide this into five segments um, divide and I'm going to divide this guy also in three segments I'm gonna go to the side view and let's move them out a little bit and now I'm gonna move this guy as well not this this one sorry I'm gonna move this guy here and we don't need this one so now what I'm doing here is I actually need uh, I actually need uh, this um, as you as you can see here in order to create this kind of surface we actually need this uh, section here and here and here so what I'm going to do I'm going I'm going to create this and later on I'm gonna use um, sweep to to create to create that effect so basically what I'm doing here is I'm just uh, I'm going to draw a line that is parallel to this edge here and then uh, later on we're gonna use it to create the, the effect so uh, let's let's start I'm gonna use this edge also and let's hide the rest okay so what I did here I just uh, uh, I just offset it to the initial rectangle a little, a little bit so that uh, once I have this box that the the actual geometry over will not go all until until the edge but it will go a little bit off so that, that we get nice nice effect there so uh, let's uh, let's isolate now this uh, we need this curve isolated and this one okay so now we will we'll go in the side view and <clears throat> we will turn on the project button and let's start drawing so here now I'm connecting I'm gonna connect uh, these dots like this so I'm doing this for this for all of them and then later on we'll modify them all together so as I said we're, we're going to use these to create a nice surface and then from that surface we're going to divide uh, divide it in multiple components uh, which we will rotate later on and then get the final geometry based on that so here as you can see they are all in the same plane because I had the project button on and now I'm going to turn it off and let's go take the control points and what we want to do here is we want to have them all in the same in the same plane so I'm gonna use set point here and use X set point so it's all nice and smooth like this so first I know that this guy is connected here this one is here this one is here and this one is here okay so now what I can do is I can connect these and let's use sweep to connect this guy with these ones and we get a nice surface here and that's what we wanted so I'm gonna do the same thing I'm gonna do the same thing for for this curve now and then uh, we're gonna move on from there
Okay, so once we have this, uh, once we have this uh, uh, surfaces created, let's uh, let's mirror them. Okay, like so. And now let's let's split these guys. We delete these ones and we do the same for the side ones. We say split with these two. And now we have the geometry that you wanted. So basically basically that's the result and now uh, we're gonna move on now we need to create uh, we need to actually divide our surfaces into e equal segments and uh, extrude them outward so uh, first we're going to use all right so so in order to divide these surfaces uh, as you can see uh, I, I actually uh, some of them once created uh, look a little a little bit weird so uh, we actually need to recreate the surface again and we're gonna use this by using um, uh, We're gonna use these curves that already exist. So what I did here. I just extruded this. I copy it here and Actually, it was it was here already and uh, all I did is I just uh, duplicated these edges So and then delete this so we need to create an actual uh, loft surface out of out of these curves uh, because uh, sweep 2 uh, works but in order to divide the surfaces equally we will need uh, a lofted surface so uh, what we're gonna do now is just have the create uh, use loft command select surfaces and have this ready like this and now we can use actually command called rebuild to, to rebuild the surface and has an in order to have smooth smoother segments once we have these smoother smoother segments we can um, let's go to grasshopper and uh, we would need to uh, create um, a definition that is basically very simple uh, we just use the surface and we uh, input it into isotrim uh, component with uh, the divide domain and then we use cal pattern at the end to to offset to have multiple segments uh, like this so this is the result that that we're getting and uh, uh, now in order to continue we're just going to bake this geometry and group it and now we can actually move this back so these will be our um, our um, curves here and uh, now we're going to use the same principle to apply to this guy here And we have uh, we, we have our geometry. So now I'm just going to uh, I'm just going to mirror this like so, and mirror this as well. And so that's uh, that's that's how we're gonna. Uh, uh, go with this and then let's select all curves let's hide them so another thing we can do here is create these windows on the bottom and we will do this by creating a rectangle from here to here and now we're gonna explode it and use basically this edge and use it with this one so we just need to create some sort of interpolation curve here and what we can do is actually we can use the same uh, exact line here 
but we will actually uh, I'll copy it in place and then uh, I'm gonna say set point and we'll bring it all the way here and basically this will be my my section so I'm just gonna extend it until there I will actually rebuild it and put four segments apply it here and get something like this so now I'm just gonna use sweep two and get this effect so that's same as this uh, now we're gonna uh, do the similar thing for this guy here and that's that's for building so um, of course this is not uh, completely uh, detailed uh, as this one but I just wanted to give you an idea of how you can create these effects uh, I will um, I'll render this now and then I'll show you the final result later uh, so here is the final rendering uh, this is this is how it turned out and um, if you like this kind of tutorials and if you if you learned something from it please uh, like and share these videos and if you know somebody who will who can benefit from them please uh, share share it and let's spread a word about how to rhino